Well, you have to you have to be a little introspective and and, and and look at how you can improve as a basketball player, and you have to you know, be honest when you make self assessments. I mean, if you can't do something, don't try to you know lie to yourself and say that you can. I mean, you have to be honest with yourself, and you know once you once you once you do that, once you take that step, then you can improve. What happens when the nation's top high school shooting guards get together with the game's best instructors and the league's most complete player? We followed along to capture all the action. Uh, it feels good to get here. I've never been to California. It's a pretty good experience so far, and I'm just looking forward to working out with all these great athletes and learning from the best and Kobe Bryant. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to meeting Kobe, of course, but um, I'm really looking forward to uh, learning some new things, get better, uh, some of the stuff that you know I may need to use during my game situations. Being young, you know, my brothers and I'm pushing me a lot. You know, I'm telling me. You know, that's how you get to the next level, tell them other thing I need to work on from, from good and bad, you know, so every, every time they get to tell me something bad, you know, I didn't want to hear it, but I just want to hear the good stuff, you know. But now I like to hear the bad stuff so I can work on it, you know, make myself better. My family really is basketball oriented. I had my mom, my dad played in college, college basketball, and I think, I don't think we've ever been around any other sport, so this is our sport, and I mean, we've, we've been rose up with basketball. Me, I'm like the underdog, I feel, so. I feel like I have to go out and prove everybody wrong. So I like pressure. I'm, I'm used to having pressure. They probably look at me and be like, well, he's a little skinny. We might have to push him around. But then when we get on the court, that's not, that's not a big deal. I mean, they got to look for something else. Fearless. I'm not scared of anybody. I tell you, I don't care who you put in front of me. It could be Kobe in front of me. I'm still going to give him my A game. Kobe started things off by taking questions on everything from training to technique. It just feels great to be able to pass some of that knowledge on and um, to the next generation. Hopefully they can you know, put it to good use and develop as players themselves. That's a dream come true, you know, listen to the guy, you know, that scored 81 points. So, you know, anything he said, you want to have your ears open. Then it was time to hit the court for three days of tough workouts. The going through the drills and all that is really frustrating when you because you're new to something than what you've been doing, but you just gotta take it all in and then you just gotta accept it, accept criticism and all that. So you try to use what you get in the drills and all that and put it all in one. Just try to fit it in so then you can take it on. AAU ball and next year high school ball and just make you more of an elite player. It's a lot more intense than I thought it was going to be doing some tough drills, but it's making everybody better. Well, it's a great experience, man. All the drills are real intense with the coaches and just going up against the best competition the country has to offer is a chance in a lifetime. As I drive here, he's going to grab. You guard me. They got good teachers out there, so you know when they teach you a move, you want to pattern it down, you know, and try to add it to your game. At the end of each day, players split into teams to show off their skills in the scrimmage. It's a high level of competition. We're all the same position, about the same, all the same kind of talent. So I mean, there's people better than you, uh, and so it's good. It's fun to comp compete like that. I'm gonna come at you every step of the way. I'm gonna just bring it. Try to bring it every day, every day. Get better. So when you get into college, you know, maybe hear my name in the uh, in the lights, you know, <laughs> in the 
in the arena one day. I'm gonna name a jersey on. So, you know, I'm trying to make my dream come true. I think I feel pretty good about myself. I mean, they're the best the country has to offer, and they're all real athletic, even more than I am. And you gotta use your mind and your, your feet to beat them. And it's, it's pretty tough. I mean, it's a big time learning experience. I mean, it's nothing new. I mean, I played it probably against everyone out there two or three times in AAU boss. I mean, it's a lot of familiar faces, so I mean, I don't take nothing for of it. I'm just going out there playing my game. I'm the type of uh, laid back guy, you know, so when it's on the court, it's a whole different ball game, you know. Whoever's in front of me, you know, it could be my grandma, you know. I'm going 100%. Well, I'm going well, you know, hopefully when they leave this camp, they feel like they, they leave with some with something that can you know that they can take with them uh, and you know to their respective teams and you know help them be better basketball players and better teammates. And um, you know, I just you know, you know, a lot of these guys have incredible athletic potential. And uh, you know, what we want to do here is try to you know combine the mental with the physical and try to start that procedure, start that process at an early age. So you know, they don't have to wait you know, five, six, seven years down the road to start trying to put those things together. But you know, start now at 17, 16, 19 years old to start trying to put the whole puzzle together.